highway used to run through there back in the day. The first expedition team left behind a paver, but to finish the job, you'll need more than that. Just so you know, Sam, distro centers and the like are stocked with materials you can use to fabricate equipment. You can also take what you need to build structures. That said, there are limits to what each facility can spare. Check their terminals to see what they are.
Scan. Scanning bridges ID. Fragile Express ID verified. Weapons detected. All weapons will be locked until departure. Cargo verified. Thank you. Nice. Delivering cargo. Thanks. Sam Bridges, I presume? I've heard of you. The man trekking across the country trying to reconnect folks. I appreciate you bringing me this. I do. Times have been tough without Fragile Express to handle deliveries. Now let me just check the cargo. Huh. Wow. You took really good care of this. I'll let Bridges know how the V&V &V testing goes. Thanks again. I need you to understand something. It's about Fragile. You might have heard she helped terrorists. That she didn't care who got hurt. But I'm telling you, that's gotta be bullshit. Her and her people put their lives on the line to get us what we needed. She's a hero through and through. Look, I was born in a shelter. The only world I've ever known is within these walls. So when people talk about America, I can't even begin to imagine it. But if that Cupid connects me to everyone else, I won't have to. So yeah, I want to join the UCA. I want to see what I've been missing. Standalone 3D printer is capable of chiral printing. Assuming it works, the Evo Devo unit should enable me to replicate all kinds of archived objects. We can rebuild America one piece at a time. In the meantime, I can use the network to see what's going on in the cities. Track mule and terrorist activity. It's like you brought me the whole wide world in that package. Thank you, Sam. Let's do business again. Oh, yeah. I've got a little something I'd like you to put through its paces. An assist unit I developed myself. Works perfectly in sim trials, but I need someone to test it out on solid ground. And if it makes your job a little easier, all the better. Sam, active skeletons attach to your legs and augment your physical capabilities. The one you've got there is a load-bearing AS, designed to reinforce your joints. Just wearing an AS will provide additional support, but you can also boost it to maximize its potential. Go ahead and take it for a spin. You won't be disappointed. Kindly. Come around again soon. Good work. New order available.
All right, that's one prepper way station. Two to go. to get this far thanks to porters and you don't ask for anything in return you have my gratitude let's see how's the package wow this is great excellent job thank you On behalf of Fragile Express, please tell me you put the terrorists behind you. When Fragile, the daughter of the founder, started associating with other couriers, things started getting scary around here. Rumors say that she caused the explosion at Middle Knot City, and there's a part of me that believes it. Of course, she could be just another one of their victims. Are you connecting the Cairo network? I don't mind a contract with Bridges, but I'm not going to join the UCA. Go ahead if you're fine with that. Maybe you already heard it from Fragile, but preppers who don't want to be a part of the UCA can still sign a contract with Bridges to join the network. 
they get to use our delivery services and other basic Cairo network infrastructure, much like our full members. Similarly, you'll be able to use their Cairo printing facilities to replenish your supplies. They are not, however, obligated to exchange data with us. So don't expect them to share intel or help with the development of new tech. In an ideal world, everyone would be a part of the UCA, of course. But failing that, we want everyone to at least be a part of the network. They can always change their minds after the fact. The Cupid will interface differently with the terminal depending on the type of contract. So connect your Cupid to confirm. just got too big. Times like these, we should all keep it close and tight. That goes for couriers, too. Otherwise, we'll just make the same mistakes. Republics, federations, coalitions, states. Connecting all kinds of people together. It's just asking for trouble. I'm sorry. It's been a while since I last talked to anyone. Travel safe. See you around, then. Good work. New order available. Please access delivery. Good job, Sam. That's two prepper way stations integrated into the Cairo network. Just one more left.
scan. Scanning bridges ID. Fragile Express ID verified. Weapons detected. All weapons will be locked until the heart. Cargo verified. Delivering cargo. You're not with Fragile Express, are you? Oh, I get it. Bridget is using their IDs to complete the delivery. Well, good work, son. I'll take that off your hands. Package looks... Brand new. Wow. Been a while since I've seen cargo in such good shape. Thank you kindly. I know it couldn't have been easy. What's your angle anyway? Everyone knows Fragile was behind the attack that wiped out Middle Knot City. Only a damn fool trusts that terrorist to deliver shit now. But here you are, filling in. Keeping her business alive for her, am I right? trust anyone these days. I mean, don't try sweet-talking me onto your little network. You know why there's been so many terrorist attacks recently? Because you all pissed them off with your talk of reuniting the country. Join the ECA. I may as well paint a bullseye on my shelter. Just keep my deliveries coming. We'll get along just fine. I don't need any trouble. Though I will say, I appreciate these hematic grenades of yours. Quality work, gotta admit. Not the sort of equipment the UCA ought to keep to itself. There's a lot of freelance porters operating in these parts, after all. If I could churn these out by the boatload and gear up those folks, now you're good people. I can see that. And you brought my order like I asked. But it'll take more than that for me to agree to what you're asking. Chiral Network is a big step. But... If you could prove to me Bridges is an organization I can trust, hmm. How about this? Do another run for me. I'll put the details on the terminal there. Good work. New order available. The toolkit you're looking for ought to be in my old shelter. It's been tagged, so shouldn't have any trouble finding the place. I'll unlock it remotely once you get there. Oh, and take some of those hematic grenades you brought with you. Nothing you'll want more when those BTs put your back against the wall, right? Here's hoping it won't come to that. Order assigned. Restrictions lifted.
<laughs> Someone's happy.
Beginning scan. Scanning Bridges ID. Fragile Express ID verified. Weapons detected. All weapons will be locked until departure. Cargo verified. Thank you. Oh, oh. The skin of my teeth. It's only fair that I look out for you. So, as long as you keep me connected, I'll keep on supplying you with my best tools. And together we all might live a little longer. Oh, by the way, check out this beauty I made. It's called a Bola gun. Should keep anyone from giving you trouble for a minute. It's non-lethal, of course. I can't promise it won't leave marks, but that's on them. If you think you could use it, take it. A bola gun, huh? That could come in handy. As is, you can use it to restrain human targets without killing them. But swap out those wires with strands spun from your blood, and it might even work on BTs. Go ahead. Give it a whirl.
Thank you for your contribution. Excellent work, Sam. You've brought three way stations into the fold. The preppers are on the grid, and the Cairo network is looking better than ever. We're planning to use a regional distro center as our next way station. But that'll have to wait. Got a priority task here. A mess in need of cleaning up. We need you to recover one of Lake Knot City's system servers. They sent it out for repairs and mules hit the transport on the way back. The server contains validation data for a new delivery system we're deploying. Once in place, it will use the Cairo network to automate deliveries. To us, it's invaluable. To the mules, it may as well be a toaster. A toaster they'll happily tear apart for the Cairo crystals and rare earth metals inside. If we don't act quickly, we could lose that data. So get your ass to the mule's drop site, snatch the server, and bring it back to Lake Knot City. I'm putting the order in myself. Check your cufflinks for details. restrictions lifted.
Sam, if you stumble across any memory chips on the road, be sure to submit them via the nearest terminal. There's no telling what kind of rare and valuable data they might contain. You're sure to make someone very, very happy with your contribution.
on the move. Here we are. Here we are. Man, how's it going? Name's Sam.
You're a saint, Sam. Thank you. Thank you for your contribution. Hey, Sam. Good to see you. Guys like you make me proud to be part of Bridges. Thank you, Sam. Until the next delivery. Good work. New order available. Welcome, welcome. The Howard man said to expect you. Oh, you've got the server. Here, let me have a look at it. Nice. The great deliverer comes through again. The server's in perfect condition. It's a real relief to know all our records are safe. Thank you so much. Sam, I've added a reverse trike to the list of supplies you can fabricate. Lake Knot City was kind enough to provide the blueprints as thanks. I'd tell you all about it, but, uh, didn't you used to have your own? Same deal. Two front wheels, one rear, battery powered. Fitted with an auto charging unit that kicks in when not in use. Requires skill to drive over obstacle strewn terrain. Best suited to long flat stretches, yada yada yada. We're working on securing you another vehicle, so you can look forward to that too. Thanks, Sam. With that data, we can finally move forward with our plans for the new automated delivery system. I'll tell the boys to start testing the bots right away. Now you'll need to take it to the distro center south of Lake Knot City. Check the delivery terminal whenever you're up for more work. The preppers had some things to say about Fragile. You sure we can trust her? That business with Higgs? Thought I told you she hates him with a passion. Enemy of my enemy as far as I'm concerned. Don't take my word for it, though. Just ask her and judge for yourself. I'd like it or not. We need her help. Sam, it's fragile. I hear you brought three preppers into the network and delivered everything they needed. That's some good work. As long as we're shooting the shit, you mind telling me what the deal is with you and Higgs? Been hearing stories, huh? I'll tell you all about it. In person. Meet me at the distro center, south of Lake Knot. You're headed there anyway, right? Good work. New order available. Please access... Sam, a lot of clients are requesting you by name. Now, while there are orders we need you to accept, which are critical to the expansion of the Cairo network, there are others that you can take or leave at your discretion. It goes without saying, though, that it's in everyone's best interest for you to do as much as you can. And more work means more rewards.
prepped a prototype bot for transport. Now you'll need to take it to the distro center south of Lake Knot City. If these autonomous delivery bots prove reliable, they could revolutionize our supplies distribution network. A lot's riding on this, so be careful out there. Make sure you carry pizzas properly at all times. If you do something stupid, like turn it on its side,
Sam, looks like you're coming up on that auto paver. Get it going and you'll have yourself a road in no time flat. Great job, Sam. That road is a sight to behold. This is only the beginning. Creating a transport network that spans the continent is key to our future. That's why it's important that you utilize any and every paper you come across to rebuild our highways and byways. Imagine how much easier your work would be if you could drive from coast to coast.
is what the world looked like hundreds of millions of years ago. It was just one big continent. And do you know what this is? The moon. I'll show you the real thing soon. I promise.
Bots aren't designed to operate outside the network service area. So let's get the distro center linked up already. Enter the final phase of testing. I designed them myself, you know. 
My hope is that they'll lighten the load a little bit. Unlike human quarters, if one goes down, it won't cause a void out. Before the Death Stranding, scientists used to fret over the singularity, the possibility that someone might create an AI smarter than any human, but it never happened. Machines don't cause void outs. They can't die. They don't have beaches. No matter how far they come, machines will never understand death like we do. And because of that, they'll never truly surpass us. Get on the delivery terminal. I'll walk you through how to use the bots. And don't worry, I'll keep an eye on things from over here. These autonomous delivery bots are designed to process some orders for you. Simple, run-of-the-mill orders only. Take a look at what's available. Cargo transported by a bot is liable to get a little roughed up if the road's poor. On the flip side, a bot traveling on a well-maintained road is more likely to deliver cargo in better shape. Also faster, in case it wasn't obvious. Keep that in mind when sending them out. Now we wait for the delivery bot to reach its destination. As of today, there's just one, but if the test succeeds, we'll move ahead with mass production. Then you'll be able to dispatch them yourself. Oh, um, seems I misspoke. We managed to slap together another delivery bot for fuel testing. You can decide how to use this one. <sighs> Sorry, baby's fussing again. Thanks, Sam. We'll talk later. Good work, Sam. These autonomous delivery bots will benefit everyone, from folks in cities and way stations to preppers out in the back of beyond. But you must be exhausted. Why not take a break? I bet your BB could probably use one, too. Head for the private room. Go on. Sorry, didn't mean to startle you. You were sleeping when I dropped by. Thanks for the shower. Right. Look, I gotta ask. I've been hearing things about you. She's in bed with terrorists. Don't trust her. She's just another dumbass Higgs fucked over. She's a goddamn hero, that woman. Tell me, Sam, what does America mean to you? 
way my dad made it sound, we were something special. The glue that held it all together. More than a nation. A symbol of freedom and hope. We could bring it all back if we kept on making deliveries and connecting people. He was sure of it. I was a wreck after he died. That's when Heeks made his pitch. Together, we can run packages from sea to shining sea. Back then, he had a monopoly west of here. We both stood to gain a lot from a partnership. Business was pretty good at first. But then, a year ago, when those fanatics started stirring up trouble, fuckers hijacked our system. Somehow, they got a hold of our security passes and used them to sneak into cities. And just like that, we're delivering guns and bombs instead of medicine, and I didn't even know. We were just cogs in a terrorist machine. Higgs was behind it all. And on top of that, he got his hands on an old-school nuke that I ended up carrying right into Middle Knot City. You tell me, then? Yeah. It was me. I blew it up. Could have been different if I wasn't so fucking blind. So I did everything in my power to stop South Knot City from getting destroyed. I tried to get the nuke out of the sea. But Higgs was one step ahead. He took his pound of flesh and then some. Some wounds. They don't heal. Whatever time I've got left, the rain took. So there you have it. Everything's true, except for all the lies. I don't give a damn about bridges or putting America back together. But I'm not about to let Higgs and some terrorists take my father's legacy and shit all over it. That's why I came to you. So, trust me now. I'll be there for you, Sam. All you have to do is call. Sam, those new sites you've brought into the network have helped us to restore more of our archives. Unfortunately, I still haven't managed to dig up anything about the BB's origins. And I'm completely locked out of BB-28 service record. If I could at least access that, I might be able to tell you why you've been experiencing those strange episodes. Well, I'll keep at it. You do the same. Sam, check the terminal for available orders. Big set fragile up, huh? He is dropping again. It's all in your cuff logs. And with the aid of the Cairo network, we were able to restore Middle Nut City's regional archives. The records corroborate our story. Don't need you to tell me what's true and what ain't. I could hear it in her voice. Son of a bitch fucked her over good. No reservations about working with her then, I hope. Good news, Sam. 
the bot you sent out made it to its destination. The test was a success. Got another one prepped for you to use. Thank you with my thanks. One more thing, Sam. A new delivery type has been added to the terminal. Your hard work's getting noticed. Because of that, there's been some talk of offering a premium service. Now, it might seem like a hassle to willingly take on extra restrictions, but if you succeed, you'll boost your rep even more. So, if someone asks you to deliver within a time limit, you could counter it by setting the limit even lower, thereby earning yourself a better evaluation if successful. Now, if you're feeling up for a challenge, give it a try.
journey. Weapons restrictions lifted. Toppled over.
I'm sure they told you, but this weather station was built before the Death Stranding. Bridges 1 came and fixed it up. Unfortunately, we lost contact with our weather satellites a while back. Interference from chiral clouds. So it's been tough to measure chirelium levels and predict timefall. But thanks to you, this weather station can finally function as intended. You made our jobs easier. Now let us do the same for you. 
We won't let you down. I promise. Take care. I see you got the weather station back online. Excellent work, Sam. When a region is integrated into the chiral network, it's also brought closer to the beach, in a manner of speaking. There's a significant impact on Kyrelian levels, and measuring that impact is one of the Cupid's primary functions. The more we know, the more accurately we can determine where to expect timefall and when. Without the chiral network, we'd be left guessing. Oh, and thanks to your latest accomplishment, you can now review the weather forecast via your cufflinks. Check your map. You'll see. Ought to come in handy when you're planning routes. I'll keep an eye on the chiral density from right here in my lab. It's not too far from South Knot City. Keep processing those orders and you'll put that region on the grid soon enough. Good luck, Sam. Good work, Sam. That's one more site on the grid. Keep it up and we'll be finished before you know it. The weather station's forecast should be visible to everyone on the Cairo network now. Yourself included. You can access them via your cufflinks. It could be useful when plotting your routes. Good work. New order available. Please have... We've added a timefall shelter option to your PCC. They're perfect for keeping you and your cargo dry until the weather improves. A floating carrier is a kind of tractor car. Chiral crystals keep it suspended in midair, allowing it to move unimpeded over rough terrain. You can load one up with cargo and tow it to your destination with minimal effort. If one's not enough for your needs, you can hook it up to another and take two. Just keep in mind that carriers require a steady... Make sure you have enough to get where you need to go.
Okay, Sam. Find your way to the building site. Use your map and compass if you don't remember the way. Weather forecasts can now be viewed via your cufflinks. Should come in handy when you're on the road. I'll contact you with additional instructions once you get close. safe house built you get to go Sam first equip your PCC and select safe house materials over to the safe house sooner rather than later. Sam. This safe house will be a boon to countless others in the long run. I'm not just talking about the porters who'll use it as a stopover on the way to the weather station, but the people they help and the people they help. We're all connected to someone else, Sam. 
but you'll have the honor of being the first person to rest there. I'm Sam! I'm Sam. Sam. Over here! Over here. Over here. Predicting the weather is akin to predicting the future. Some animals have a kind of sixth sense that helps them to avoid danger, but we have something far better. The ability to gather data and act accordingly. Only humans possess this power to plan ahead. We have the capacity to live each day imagining what tomorrow will be like. And our imagination once gave rise to a rich, vibrant culture. Somewhere along the line, we lost sight of tomorrow. <sighs> we reduced ourselves to animals, focused only on the here and the now. ID verified. Weapons detected. All weapons will be locked until departure. Cargo verified. Thank you.
Bridges has always been so good to us. Amelie was a dear friend in the early days. She saw the value in what we were doing and led the effort to get our farm up and running. We've been waiting a long time to join the Chiral Network. Let's have a look at that wheat you brought, shall we? Well, I'll be. Did you really bring us this much? How on earth did you manage? Oh, bless you. to know Fragile, would you? If you see her, pass along a message for us. Tell her, thanks for saving our hides. If she hadn't stepped up, South Knots and our farm would have been wiped off the face of the earth. She's a hero. And you can tell her I said so. All right, the network. Think you can get us online? So, Sam, you've been run down by mules after they pinged your cargo, right? Well, to help prevent that from happening again, we've upgraded your own cargo scanner. Say you're about to get pinged. If you time it right, you can return the favor and cancel out their pulse with your own. They'll be none the wiser, and you can carry on without worry. Timing is everything, though. Ah, oh, thank you. Now, to start really using Timefall to our advantage, our farm will be a world first. Truth be told, we've got some test fields, but... Without the ability to predict Timefall, the results have been less than stellar. The Timefall around here was fairly regular, so we had a reasonable idea of when to plant and when to harvest. But then the terrorists went and threw everything out of whack. Too many dead, too many craters. Weather became impossible to predict. The network's forecast ought to help us get back on track, thank goodness. If all goes to plan, we'll be able to expand our operation and use Timefall to cultivate whole swaths of land. We'll continue our genetic research too, of course, and see if we can't find a way to help develop a sustainable ecosystem. Hell, maybe we'll even stumble into some answers about the Timefall while we're at it. We got our work cut out for us. But I'm up for the challenge. Thanks again, Sam. You've given us hope for a better tomorrow. <laughs> I can't wait for the harvest. That's the way, Sam. Halfway there. You can do it. Huh? Well, would you look at that? You've only just brought the Timefall farm into the network, and already we've got new orders. May as well make use of the return trip. Good work. New order available. Please access delivery terminal for further... Congratulations, Sam. Your PCC's leveled up, so to speak. It now has the capacity to produce... I'll let Mama fill you in on the deep. Sam, it's a fairly large structure, so it'll take a lot of time and material. 
But once complete, it's pretty much identical to a private room. Give it a shot. No can do, Sam. Structures can't be built that close together. 
You'll need to settle for a different spot outside the sensor ring. You know, if you've got a floating carrier but no cargo worth mentioning, you might try hopping on it yourself.
close one.
Ready to take the plunge? So, the only things you can bring with you is yourself. And maybe a few other trinkets that are really important to you. Okay, close your eyes. Picture your destination. Hold it in your mind. Delivery parameters updated. Time limit set. himself a junk dealer now your client used to work in comms as a repairman could fix anything from simple wireless terminals to integral parts of the civic network he was a good man a pleasure to deal with but after the attack near South Knot City he changed not that I blame him we gave him plenty of reason to distrust us
restrictions lifted. Time gone, my girl. All because of some terrorist nutjobs and their buddies at Fragile Fucking Express. Not to mention the Bridges assholes who had to go and kick the hornet's nest. <sighs> Whatever. Let's see the goods. You make good time, like you're supposed to. That's your job, isn't it? I'm concerned, all you porters are no better than terrorists. And nothing you say will convince me otherwise. So take your Cupid and fuck off. Well, okay then. 
Something tells me that if we want to win him over, we need to figure out what really happened to that woman in the hologram. Now, he seems to think she died in the attack. But we checked South Knot City's records, and there's no death certificate for a woman matching her description. Which is why I asked Fragile to look into it. Hey, Sam. I was looking through my old client database on the off chance I might find our mystery woman. And wouldn't you know it, a pretty close match popped up, facial and voice. She's still alive. Our junk dealer's grieving for nothing. I doubt he'll take our word for it, though. Hang on, he just posted another order. Probably just trying to push our buttons. May as well check the delivery terminal and see what he wants. Good work. New order available. Give yourself a challenge, huh?